are the problems with existing systems on the market? Well, looking around at the market and the various systems that are for sale, uh, also at, on YouTube, uh, DIY projects people have put together, there's a number of problems with, with each of those systems that have sort of troubled me and uh, what, you know, they've sort of spurred me on to get around those problems and make a system of my own that, uh, that uh, sort of stops those problems. Um, the types of problems I'm talking about are, um, there's an ultrasonic fogger system and uh, they it's like an ultrasonic disc that heats up the water and creates a very, very fine mist in the root zone, which is fine for uh, propagation in young plants where nutrients aren't required. But I've heard that there's a reliability problem with those systems and uh, the disc actually gets clogged up with nutrients. Other than that, I like those systems. Um, there are high pressure systems that require a compressor. Um, so the the delivery is under high pressure, uh, which is very good for, for getting into very dense root zones, but actually the expense of, of having a, a compressor and also the noise that it, it creates and the expense of the electricity that it requires is something that a lot of people wouldn't actually want to have as part of their systems. And also um, the low pressure systems that are on the market that actually use um, a sprinkler head a plastic sprinkler head to deliver uh, the water to the root zone. The, the water droplets are just too large, in, in my view, uh, to get into very dense root zones. Um, also, the timer, the time uh, timers that these various systems use, some of these systems are actually on continuously, which is a real problem as far as electricity is concerned, but also they don't need to be on continuously. So I was able to get around those issues with developing a, a digital relay timer and control box 